everybody, it's Cheaply Chic. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited that I have a craft haul for you today. I'm telling you, those of you who watch my channel, you already know that I have been under the weather. In fact, this is, I've been hit a couple times this winter, but it has just been, this one was bad. It knocked me out for a good week and a half. <sighs> anyway, so if my voice sounds a little off or I get a little hacky, please forgive me. I am so Still trying to recover but one of the most exciting things that happened this week for me is when I finally got out of the house and I was able to drive and of course a couple of the first places I went other than the Dollar Tree which is a haul I have coming up later is Hobby Lobby and Tuesday morning so today I am going to share with you what I found in those stores and I've decided that I'm gonna start with Hobby Lobby so I'll start with the most unexciting item from the store is I picked up this polyfill just a bag of polyfill and it was $2.99. I need it for a project that I have coming up here that I'm going to share on my channel so I'm pretty excited about that. A couple embellishments I needed for an upcoming project. I picked up a package of these Poppies and Paris. These white flowers I think are very pretty and I also picked up these Prima flowers. You get 10 in a pack. These are rather pricey and something I don't buy all the time without a coupon but Mother's Day is coming and I needed these, so sometimes you just have to make an exception. The item that I used my 40% coupon on this week is this Krylon 18 karat gold leafing pen. I love these. I've been using these so much on all my paper projects. This is the larger pen since I've actually gone through three of the smaller ones. I decided to get the larger one. So this is $8.99 and this is what I picked up, but it is so pretty and I love playing with those. Okay, now on to the fun stuff, the things I found in the clearance section. My daughter's birthday is coming up and I picked up this Dilusions Art Journal. It's called a Creative Journal. It is rather large, very thick. It retails for $24.99 and it's really heavy cardstock type paper because it is an art journal. It's for painting and spraying and all of that. It has a really nice heavy cover. Here you can see that it has an envelope here on the front that she can stick things in. No envelope in the back but lots and lots of pages and an elastic band that closes it up when you want to. So this is regularly $24.99 and it was on sale for $14.99 and since her birthday is coming and I know this will be loved by her, I picked that up. And then for me, I picked up a few Tim Holtz items that were in the clearance section. I picked up this Distress Ink in Pumice Stone. They're regularly $5.99 and I picked it up for $3.59 so I got a couple bucks off. And I also picked up this in Seedless Preserves. I also picked up a few of the Distress Stains by Tim Holtz that were in the clearance section. I'm guessing the colors are being discontinued. So these are regularly $4.99. I picked them up for $2.99, so they were $2 off. This is in Brushed Pewter. I picked one up in Picked Raspberry. Picket Fence. This one has the sticker all over it, but this is Broken China, which is a nice blue color. And then I also picked up Seedless Preserves in the Distress Stains as well. I also picked up four Distress Paints. This is the Antique Linen. These were also normally $4.99 and they were on sale for $2.99. Brushed Pewter. Broken China. And then I didn't notice that this one had lost its cap. I don't know if it lost it after I bought it or before, so I'm going to have to find something to do for that but this was the last one and I found it someplace so this one is picked raspberry so those are all of my finds from Hobby Lobby this week now I'm gonna get into Tuesday morning since I ended with the paints in my Hobby Lobby haul I will start with the paints this time around I found these satin multi-surface acrylic paints by Martha Stewart I was pretty excited because I needed to pick some up anyway at the store this week. So these are regularly about $2.39, at least they say at Tuesday morning, and I picked it up for 99 cents. So this color is in Pink Flamingo. This color is in Artichoke, which is a very pretty light green. This color is Piglet. 
and then this really pretty gold glitter paint, which was also 99 cents. I thought that looked like a lot of fun. I, of course, went in there hoping to find washi like everybody's been hauling this week. I found a couple. I didn't find all of it. I didn't find any of the little bee washi, but that's okay. <laughs> it's always fun to hunt Tuesday morning, so I'll look again next week. But I did find this two-pack by Sweet Tarts. It says that it's normally $6.99 and I picked it up for $0.99. Cents. Everybody who loves washi knows that getting two rolls of this size for a dollar is an absolute steal. So I was very excited to pick this up. And I actually wanted to share these washi samples with you because I couldn't tell what it was in the package. So it was only after I got home that I was super excited to notice that that print are owls. It's little owls on there. So I was so excited. That was like a bonus. And then this orange roll is a very pretty floral pattern. So these are definitely an incredible deal and worth stopping in to take a look for if you are a washi lover. And the only other washi that I found was this tiny roll that they had for sale for 49 cents. It's by Jelly Bean, and it doesn't say how much is on a roll, but it's just a cute polka dot pattern. Something my daughter wanted was this Valentine kit. It comes with some Valentine cards here that you can cut out. Also some stickers here and then some vellum envelopes. It says that it retails for about $4. It's from Basic Gray and I picked it up for $0.99. Cents. I was also very excited to find the stamp sets. Now I have a little confession to make. Before I went into Tuesday morning, I didn't really watch anyone's haul videos because I was so sick and I couldn't get to the store. I just couldn't do that to myself. I was keeping up with everything on Instagram, seeing what people were hauling, but I had no idea that you got six of these stamps for a dollar. When I saw them hanging on the rack and it said 99 cents, they're always 99 cents. You always pick up these Studio G stamps or any stamp this size, it's usually a dollar. So when I picked it up and it was bound together, have you ever like found a deal that like made your blood pressure rise? That was it for me. I was like, do they know? Do they know that they've marked all of these for 99 cents? It was funny. Like, yeah, so it's awesome. I picked up quite a few of these so I can share with my friends. But something I did want to share with you is I have gone through them. And I think there are 12 patterns. And I just want to share them with you really quick. This one says a big birthday wish for you. Me is thinking of you. So sorry. OMG, it's your birthday. You did awesome. Congrats. Feel better, okay? I'm so proud of you. I wanted to say thanks. Miss you like crazy. You rock. Enough said. <laughs> I like that one. Hello, friend. I really like that one, too. And then, needed you to know I'm here for you. So these are the 12 prints that I found at my store. There could absolutely be more, of course. But just so you know, there's at least 12. And then just a couple more items I picked up. This four pack of scissors by American Crafts, it says compare to $25, I picked mine up for $8.99. I had an incident with my Cutter B scissors where I think in the mayhem of crafting, they like fell in the trash can and I threw them away and that was super sad. So getting four pair <laughs> for the price of the Cutter B scissors, I thought that was a great deal and that way if I accidentally throw away any scissors again, I have a backup. And then for a project I have coming up, it's so funny because I was actually looking for a banner punch and I had been to Michael's and they didn't have one. I was about to go to Hobby Lobby and what do you know, they had one of these triangle banner type punches at Tuesday morning on the clearance rack. So while they had it marked $5.99 originally, I picked it up for $3 and some cents. I was thrilled. This like was something I needed, so I was very excited to pick this up. And that is it for my crafty haul today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will be back with the Dollar Tree haul, and I'm excited for some of the things I found. Again, as you know, I've been cooped up, so it felt awesome to walk in and actually find some of the things that were on my list. So 
very excited to share that haul with you. So stick around my channel and I will see you in my next video. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!